Hello, I'm Jeffrey Ham, Equity Analyst for Briefing.com. Today is Monday, June 1st. Thanks to a concerted broad-based buying effort amid pleasing economic data, the S&P 500 climbed to fresh highs for 2009 and managed to close above its 200-day moving average for the first time since 2007. There wasn't any individual catalyst for the upward push, just pleasing economic data. Personal spending for April declined a moderate 0.1%, which was better than expected and an improvement from the previous month, while personal income for April showed a surprise half percent increase in the face of loose labor conditions. Construction spending for April also registered an unexpected increase by climbing 0.8% month over month. The ISM Manufacturing Index for May came in at 42.8, which was largely in line with expectations, but up from the prior month. Though the reading indicates manufacturing activity continues to contract, the pace of contraction is decelerating. Retailers in the S&P 500 saw some of the best gains this session. They spiked more than 6%, which helped the consumer discretionary sector climb more than 4.5%. The sector was also helped by a 6.4% advance by automakers, even as General Motors confirmed all previous suspicion by announcing that it will enter bankruptcy with the help of the U.S. government, which is investing $30 billion for a 60% stake in the company. As a result of the filing, GM will lose its long-held position in the Dow. Cisco will replace GM in the Dow effective June 8th, which is also when Travelers will replace Citigroup. Strength in blue chips helped the Dow cut into its year-to-date loss, though, which now stands at less than 1%. The broad-based buying effort helped that nine of the ten major sectors in the S&P 500 finish higher. Telecom was the only sector to finish lower, but financial stocks and healthcare stocks also lagged the broader market. Commodities also logged an impressive session as the CRB Commodity Index spiked more than 3% to log its best single session advance by percent in two months. It was helped along by rising crude oil prices, which logged another 2009 closing high by finishing pit trading more than 3% higher at $68.40 per barrel. I'm Jeffrey Ham for Briefing.com, and thanks for listening.